Hey, my name is Ross. I'm here with this 2023 Dodge Ram 2500 Pro Master Ambulance. It's got a redesign for the front end. So the headlights, the front bumper, it's gonna be re redesigned. Interior's uh, nicer as well for the front dash. Has Apple CarPlay. The interior is going to be pretty much the same layout as the older FR conversion ambulances. So nothing really changed inside. You still have your side oxygen bottle that goes in here. This slides out. And then dro drops down like that. Very easy to use. As you can see, I was pulling that out with one hand and holding the camera in the other hand. And then the same thing to slide in one hand, slide it right in and then it locks into place. This ambulance is Star of Life certified, is your Star of Life certification. It also meets all the CAS certifications that they require nowadays. Plenty of glove box storages inside and outside. Very easy to use controls. Your inverter turns on right here. Your AC heat all with the Bobasto system here. Again, very easy to use. Some of the older FR conversions had a complicated heating system. This no longer has that heating system. So it's very straightforward. Turn the dial to cold on the blue, turn the dial to red on the uh, hot side, and that gives you heat or cold. And then that's your fan speed here. Uh, it's got built in night lights or cabinet lights. So those are your cabinet lights. All the cabinet lights are illuminated, that's standard. Uh, it also has night lights. So if you turn off all the interior lights, which I will we'll do in a second. So I turned off all the interior lights and then it has these night lights, which are red. So if you turn that on, it's got a little red light over the captain's chair. So your provider is able to write charts without having to have all the lights on so that your patient at night is comfortable. Very cool feature that FR does. So if I turn those off, it's gonna be dark. Uh, cabinet lights, if I turn on the cabinet lights, a lot of providers also say that they love using the cabinet lights as their uh, night light when they're doing their charts instead of the red lights. So they turn on their cabinet lights and then they could still see inside the back of the ambulance with just those on. And then if we turn on all the lights, you can see it's very bright in here. It's got two IV hooks in the ceiling that are flush mounted. It has a grab rail in the ceiling in the center. It also has your six point seat belt harnesses on the squad bench. The squad bench has storage underneath. Sharps container that's pre-built in. Uh, then they, again, they have glove box holders on the doors that open up for the patient loading. And then they also have another sharps bin on that side of the door. And then on the, uh, on the squad bench seat, they have suction unit. Uh, and then they also have your oxygen uh, port. So you could uh, hook up your suction bottle to here, oxygen bottle to here. You have your outlets here as well as several outlets on the action area your suction regulator is here so you can control that and then they also put an oxygen monitor regulator uh digital which is really cool again they come with this pretty standard this flips up for a glove box storage uh, all these cabinets are cast certified so they lock into place. 
additional storage here for your ALS bags or BLS uh, jump bags. Uh, squad bench here. I'm sorry, the captain's chair here with the three-point additional storage back here as well as uh, cabinets are extremely deep. So if you guys carry a lot of stuff, you can see pretty much half of my hand feel, fits in into these cabinets. So there is plenty of storage in this ambulance. Uh, we installed a Ferno. Uh, this is a F1 uh, P or uh, yeah, Pro F1. This is universal for Striker and uh, Ferno. This will not charge a Striker stretcher. Um, we outfitted this ambulance, this particular ambulance, with a non-charging Ferno, but they also make this in a charging Ferno. So you can uh, build out and spec out your ambulance, whether you want it with built-in charging or without built-in charging. I personally say save your money and just go with a without a charging unit and put a battery charger in here. You, there's plenty of outlets to be able to charge your battery. Um, just because of the price difference, it doesn't make any sense for me, honestly. But again, it's not my money. So if you guys want it to have built-in charging, that's perfectly fine. We could order it that way and have the built-in charging. Let um, me show you the storage. So this pops up. Locks into place. And then there's storage in there for your KD boards, padded board splints, uh, whatever else you guys carry, hard hats. And then there's additional a backboard slide in here. And then there's a stair chair slide. Uh, in here, which I will show you in a second once I open up the back doors. So coming out from the side here. Coming around to the back of the ambulance. This is a flip up rear step. So that flips up. Again, your backboard goes inside here. Uh, this has room for probably three backboards, depending on what kind of backboards you use. And then your stair chair would go inside here. And now I know this fits a striker uh, stair chair with tracks. Not really sure about the Ferno, but I think it should fit the Ferno as well. And those are your emergency lights, scene lights. And there you guys have it. This is a 2023 Ram ProMaster Pioneer 2 ambulance. Thank you for watching. Let me take you up to the front driver's side console. This ambulance does have a built-in Apple uh, Bluetooth or Apple CarPlay, which is really awesome. So your crews can put in, if they have a company phone, they could uh, put in the address in Google Maps or Apple Maps, and it's going to take you straight to where you need to go. Uh, these are all your emergency controls, as well as your Phoenix Siren control. And then you have your code, code. Those are gonna be your emergency lights. Um, and then you have a work lights that you could turn on. Those are gonna be all your scene lights. And then you have your scene lights here as well, which is your left, rear, and right scene lights. Um, you have your siren controls up here, as well as over here. And then you could also regulate the flash pattern on the uh, light bar. So you could, uh, switch the flash patterns on the light bar by hitting, hitting this button here and then this is going to be your main control to kill the power to the module and uh it is automatic uh they do have an upgraded transmission on these 2023 models 
very clean it's got cruise control uh, Bluetooth you can call through your uh, phone here as well and then it has automatic um, parking brakes so when you uh, shut the vehicle off it automatically goes into parking and then when you put it into drive it stays into parking but once you hit the gas pedal it releases the parking brake so you don't have to worry about your crews burning up the emergency brake because they forgot to turn off the parking brake so that's a really awesome feature to have i know when i had my ambulance service the crews were constantly burning up the emergency brake because they would forget to turn it off and just go so it's uh it's awesome that they have so many cool features nowadays that they did not have back when I was doing the ambulance gig. All right, uh, thank you for watching. My name is Ross with Pillip Ambulances. Uh, you can find more details on our website at pillupambulances.com. Thanks for watching.